Welcome back on the VST channel guys, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra and in this video I'm going to be talking about managing the storage and practically this is valid for all the Samsung phones and in general for all the phones, Android and phones as well but of course this video is going to be on the Samsung S23 Ultra, we are just days ahead of the S24 Ultra so one step of preparing is just get rid of all things you don't need and how do i do this guys i get often questions like why the hell do you have 200 apps 100 apps 400 apps people don't get it but because i do youtube videos for fun and i don't want to call myself a tech reviewer but i did i have to have all these kind of apps because certainly i'm using them to to test some of the functionalities like gameplay and stress tests and benchmarks and whatsoever but then also remember i have two kids and two boys which means i have also a lot of games now this is one of the reasons why i have a lot of apps the other thing is i have a history with android been using it since version 1.6 which is cupcake so i have some very old apps that i carry together in my account and every time i do restore my phones i end up of getting a lot of apps i don't use but now some words about storage management when you go inside the settings scroll down until you see something called device care now under device care in one ui 6 and also in the other versions you're going to have these three sections which is mainly about the storage the memory and the app protection the focus of today's video of course is storage now my unit comes with half a terabyte 512 gigabytes so I would say it's quite nice after one year of using it and occasionally offloading some of the photos and videos uh, after returning from holidays, I would still say that I have a lot of free storage or free memory available, you can see here. Now, the moment you go inside, guys, there's gonna be some very useful statistics. You have to click here on show more and then you're going to understand how much of free storage you have and more importantly, what is the type of data you have? So right now I can see the purple here is the videos. I have 82 gigabytes of videos. I have a lot of images compressed files installation audio and see here guys apps is the blue section so i have 129 gigabytes of apps then interestingly enough i have system which is 17 and then other files which is 20g and trash now here is where the management starts but before i show you what i do and what i'm going to actually do on my phone i want to show you what you can do with these statistics because the moment you click here for example on the apps right you're going to get down to the section of the phone when you can get a wider view of your applications so right now i am inside the apps list i have a 509 apps please don't judge and you can also try to sort them so you can sort them filter them install by you enabled uh, disabled system apps and also you can show the system apps right now now they're not there but when i show the system apps you can see that the number goes from 500 to almost 900 okay so now i'm gonna go back and i'm going to remove the system apps and boom so 300 system apps and when you click here guys there is the permission manager from here you are actually able again to sort them by name size last use last updated so it's very user friendly one year is really very powerful and just by looking at this statistic i can see that Genshin Impact takes like 30G of my phone. And you can do the same for audio files, you can do the same for images, so it's not problematic, everything is there and you can filter it. Now, here we get to the second portion, which is some tips. It tells you, the system tells you, get 10G of space by deleting all images from the camera folder. Now, I can click here, to review the old files, right? But it's gonna be rather like a manual selection. But the phone identified I have like 3,000, almost 3,000 old images, taking 10 gigabytes of my space. So it allows me to delete all images that I've done past 30 days, which of course I don't wanna do so. Now you can see that there are more dots, so I can go to the next section, and it offers to clear 11G by just deleting downloaded files I don't need. So let's say that I I'm willing to accept this offer. I'm gonna click here on the review old files and we can see that I have plenty of things, all right? Now, because I have plenty of things, I'm gonna show you, I said, in this video, I'm really doing it. So I'm just going to delete all these files I've downloaded and I'm gonna get 11 gigabytes back. And you can also see how quick the storage is. Boom, it's now gone. So if I now scroll down, see, I have more free storage. But there is more, I can free two gigabytes of space dealing the invisible backups of your pictures and videos. So, okay, let's just select files. 371 invisible backups. Now, honestly, I don't have a clue what this is, but I am a bit worried that this could be some images that I don't wanna let go, so I'm gonna skip this. And then, one more thing, it gives you the top three biggest applications, which again, no surprise here, it's the Genshin Inta, the PUBG Mobile, and the Car X Street, which 
Again, I'm not playing this game so much, but I'm rather using them for benchmarks and comparing it against other phones. And when I click view all, again, I'm gonna go to the first section, which I showed you, that's the app section, from which, by the way, you can choose default apps for the browser, for calling, and even from the launcher. So if we have manual launchers, you can default them here from the app section. I have Nova, Smart Launcher, and etc. But of course, I'm staying with One UI Home. Now, this has been kind of like 50% of what I wanted to show you. It's getting even better because right now I have still access to other things. I can use them to optimize. So I have 860 megabytes in trash. So free up space by deleting files from the trash. Now, if I go to my files, this is everything I've already deleted, guys. 484 files, my files. So let's say that this is really things I don't want. I can click here, boom, empty and those files are gone. And when I go back, guys, in the trash, see, right now, trash is absolutely empty. It's just a folder, nothing is there. This here is very key, guys, and I urge you to go check it. It says unused applications. Uh, actually, apps that you're not using in the last 30 days because December has been like a quiet month. I didn't really get a lot of influx from new phones. I've been pretty much using my S23 Ultra. This is my main driver since the moment I bought it. 76 gigabytes with applications that I didn't use in the last 30 days. And the winner is Genshin, then PUBG 10G, 6G4 CarX, uh, mainly games, guys. You can just say this is mostly games. But let's say that I don't want some of this, right? Like I have some camera, like G camera, I have 3D Mark, I have Royal Match. If you don't want any of those apps, just click them here and you can uninstall them. And also you can go inside the settings and just probably try to delete the cache and the storage for those applications and not removing them. That's also an option. Then two more options, we have duplicate files, only 179 gigabytes, it just compares what you have. Now, honestly, I would say I don't wanna have those ones, so I'm gonna select this, 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 and I'm gonna delete them to just get a bit more of my space. And then, guys, this is also something I urge you to check, it's called large files. Those are actually files that are bigger than 25 megabytes, and with those phones shooting 4K, it's not so hard to get bigger files. I have. 227 large files that account to almost 100G that are larger than 25 megabytes. And I can tell I have some PlayStation 2 games, right, which I probably can go straight away and delete them. I have some videos, I have some music downloaded. You can either select a file to delete it or you can decide to move it somewhere, right? You can move it online to your Google Drive or OneDrive or somewhere around the storage. But let me show you the best option here. When you click on their hamburger menu, you can have a selection of large file sizes because guys, remember 25 megabytes it's just so easy with these phones. So you can either go and select a custom size, which I can do and I can select megabytes and gigabytes. And right now I'm gonna do like 5G. So please just give me everything that is more than 5G. And this is so, so useful guys. Cause right now I know I have two videos that are more than 5G, right? And they are taking 12 gigabytes or I can go there and I can probably just put like four and with four gigabytes, I have a bit more, right? Some games here again, some ISO images. And this is really how you're supposed to manage the storage of your phone. Do this, prep yourself now for the S24 Ultra. I'm gonna optimize my phone to really make it the best version of it because the moment I'm gonna get the S24 Ultra, I'm gonna put it to the test with the S23 Ultra and with the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Thank you so much for watching guys. Stay safe, VST over and bye.